tropical and beautiful Miami inspires a dish that is strong on technique and bursts with extraordinary flavor. A simple dish showcasing the vibrancy that can be brought to a classic a la Francaise. I'm Chef Jeannie Parola. I'm a five-time James Beard semifinalist and executive chef and owner of several award-winning restaurant concepts. Now I want to share some simple cooking techniques that will make you a better home cook and walk you through some delicious recipes that are sure to impress. This is Flavored by Flame. I'm so excited to cook a dish to, for you today that's inspired by Miami. Um, of course, it's yellowtail snapper, one of my favorite fishes from Florida that swims all around the Florida Keys and on the Miami coast. And we're bringing some interesting ingredients. Because it's inspired by Miami, I'm going to make a mashed boniato. You might not know what boniato is, but it is a white sweet potato often used in Cuban preparations. And so that's why we're featuring that. It can be substituted and interchanged for regular sweet potato, purple sweet potato, but this one has a truly tropical flavor. So simply peel it, cut it, put it in heavily salted boiling water, and then mash it. I'm gonna show you how to finish that in a little bit. We're doing a passion fruit beurre blanc. So I'm gonna show you how we start the reduction, which is the more time consuming step in this recipe. Here we have nothing but passion fruit puree. Now passion fruit is one of the most delicious citruses there are. Passion fruit is like the truffle, the granddaddy of citrus. So when you're thinking of limes, lemons, oranges, tangerines, grapefruits, you can also add tamarind and passion fruit to that list because tamarind is a sour, is an acid, and so is passion fruit. So it's a very strong tropical flavor, but it's very tart. And that's what brings kind of the flavor to the party. So into the puree, we, we have about a quarter cup of passion puree, we're gonna add about a quarter cup of sauternes. This is a sweeter white wine. You can use a dry white wine. You can use any white wine. You always wanna kind of use something that's good enough to drink. That means it's good enough to eat too. So we're gonna leave that alone, but while we're reducing it on gas, turn it up once, it goes. You wanna keep it low because you just want a low simmering. Sometimes you don't want something boiling so hard that it actually evaporates too quickly. But into the reduction of passion fruit juice and white wine, we have thyme sprig. We have some fresh bay leaves. Of course, it's fine to use dry. We have a few peppercorns, about five or six black peppercorns and brunoise shallot. So what is brunoise? That is the smallest cut. Um, and we let that reduce. So as that comes down, you want to keep your eye on it. You don't want to scorch it. And you just want it to become very voluptuous, very rich, so that when you mount it with butter, it'll emulsify and create that beautiful velvety texture of a beurre blanc that we all know and love. So this is the beautiful yellowtail snapper from the Florida Keys and Miami. And it's a very unique snapper, and it can obviously be swapped off for red snapper, mangrove snapper. Grouper can be used, any fish can be used in this dish. It's very simple. But what's cool about this dish is the technique I'm gonna to use to cook it. So first thing we're gonna do is salt it, kosher salt. And I use white pepper when I cook fish. When I'm at home, I have a black pepper mill for black pepper and I have a white pepper mill for white pepper. And I keep them both filled with their respective peppercorns. Because when you're cooking maybe vegetables and fish and seafood, there's nothing kicks it up and makes it better than white pepper. Wanna make sure that we season both sides. We're just gonna flip it over. Now that I've seasoned both sides of my fish, I'm gonna dust them with flour. And I use Wondra. You can use all purpose flour. It doesn't matter. I use Wondra cause it's so fine. And I'm looking for the littlest bit of occupancy of flour that I can get. I want it to be sheer. The whole reason in putting flour on this fish is for the egg to stick on it. There's no other reason. So you just need a light coat. You wanna make sure it's totally coated with Wondra. We scrambled a bunch of eggs. There's nothing in here but eggs. We're gonna season it a little bit. We'll use the exact same combination of salt and white pepper. 
We're going to whisk up these eggs, preheat our pan, because you know gas is going to bring it up very quickly. We want to get a nice medium high heat. As soon as our pan gets hot, we're going to put a touch of oil, just a little touch of olive oil. And as soon as that oil starts to get some sheen, you see it starting to ripple across the pan, you know it's getting hot. And now here's the interesting step. It goes into the egg. And you want to make sure that you have coated it completely because it's what seals in the moisture of this dish is creating an encasement in this egg. Now this dish is best with a little bit of butter. And when this butter starts to foam, you know you're ready to go. And you see, that's cooking with gas. There is a top and a bottom to fish. I don't know if you all know this, but where you see the bloodline, that's always the bottom. You want to cook the top first, making sure to bang off all the extra egg, tilt your pan, make sure you have a beautiful hot butter field to lay that hole because you want to sear that scrambled egg. You can see the butter starting to turn brown. We're going to talk about burr noisette later, which is a step in the boniato mash that gives it its richness. But we also saute the fish kind of in a brown butter, burr noisette as well. So as soon as that fish gets a little crust, we will flip it. So as we're waiting for this to go, we're looking for it to crust about three minutes per side. There you go. That's the beautiful golden color we're looking for. Then the minute you get the other side seared, a beautiful way to complete this dish, once you know you've seared the egg, is to finish it in the oven. And you just want to finish it to temperature. So you don't want to cook the fish totally on top of the stove because you risk scorching the egg. So it's very simple to preheat your oven to 375 degrees, let it get nice and warm. And when you've seared the fish very well on both sides, you can still see how raw it is inside. We're going to pop it in the oven to complete it. Now I'm going to start the brown butter to finish the potato and to finish the reduction of the butter sauce. So as you can see, my butter sauce is all nice, tight, and reduced. It still has the bay leaf and the peppercorn. It's extraordinary. All you can smell is this tropical citrus. This dish is to just brown some butter. And bernoisette is one of the best techniques you can learn to cook. It's one of the simplest things you'll ever do, but it develops so much flavor. So we're going to let this butter brown. We're just going to let it sit on a very even low temperature until it turns nutty brown. You'll start to smell it. You'll start to tell there's this fragrance coming up. And as it starts to turn brown, it can burn really quick. So as soon as it starts to turn and you smell that fragrance, you literally can pull it off and let it finish. And you'll see that shortly. I'm going to bring my reduction up to a little bit of a simmer. Make sure it's the right temperature because I'm going to start emulsifying butter into it to create my butter sauce. This brown butter is for the boniato. While I'm waiting for my butter to go, I'm going to start incorporating butter into my beurre blanc. Now, I've cubed my butter. It's kind of cold. Um, and the reason you do that is because emulsification takes time. We've all heard that step of when you make a vinaigrette, get your vinegar and all your flavors going, and then slowly drizzle the olive oil. It's kind of the same thing you're doing here. And you really don't need high heat to do that. You can actually take it off the heat. And then you just start adding pieces of butter and whisking it in. And you'll see that we'll end up with an extraordinary velvety butter sauce. And as soon as the butter starts to melt and, and emulsify, you add more. And that's the key. The minute it, it disappears, you add more. And you'll start to notice that the reduction starts to take on volume and it starts to get really luscious looking. If at any point when you're doing this step, you see butter collecting, maybe like fat sitting on top or butter melting out to the side, you want to stop. You want to get it back over the heat and make sure you're bringing it back together because that will break your butter sauce. When you're doing true steps that require experienced cooking, emulsifying a butter sauce, browning a butter, you know what makes those steps truly amazing? 
is gas cooking and it's back to being able to control the temperature. You can't control temperature and timing with an electric stove the way you can a gas stove. I wish you could, but you just can't. You see the texture is just turning out beautifully. It's totally just voluptuous, really, really is. Now, over here is my browning butter. You can see that it is now starting to break. That's like a clarified butter step where the milk solids are removed from the fat. You see the white foamy stuff? And that's actually what turns brown and gets nutty and creates the most phenomenal fragrance. I'm doing it really slow because I want you to see how that develops. It's very easy to brown butter. You can certainly put brown butter on a smoking hot pan and brown it like that. Chances are you're gonna scorch it, you're gonna burn it, and it's really not the same. Burned butter is not the same as browned butter. You may recall that I took boniato, peeled them, cut them uniformly just like a regular mash, boiled them in hot, smoking, boiling, salted water, and then cook them until they're completely cooked through, mash them like any mashed potato. We've put a little heavy cream and a little whole butter, and now we have this mashed potato product. You see how brown my butter is? You see how smoking hot this pan still is? So you wanna be sure that you stop it and turn the heat off because it will continue to brown. But it, the nuttiness, if you could smell it, is absolutely perfect. We're gonna put a little bit of this into the mashed potato. And we're just gonna fold it in. Now, I'm gonna season these. You should always taste through your cooking to check your seasoning. You can always adjust flavor with salt, with pepper, with acid, with sugar. There's a lot of things you can adjust, but you can't adjust it once it's done. Yeah, they're really good. Really sweet, that great tropical boniato sweet potato flavor with this tremendous nuttiness. It's just really rich, opulent flavor. Okay, my potatoes are done. Now that your butter sauce is beautiful and voluptuous, again, check it for seasonings. I'm sorry to say it's perfect. You can taste absolutely everything in this butter sauce. You can taste peppercorn, the bay leaf, the thyme, but under, undertone, underneath, like not in your face. Now I have this beautiful passion fruit beurre blanc. Beautiful brown butter whipped boniato. Let's check the fish. It looks beautiful too. What finishes this dish is this extraordinary salad. It's really based on mango, but we bring other fruit to the table because we just want to create a lot of different texture and sweetness. So into this bowl, we have brunoise, jicama, pineapple. We have hearts of palm sliced into coins. We have some papaya. We have the mango, and then of course, everybody's beautiful favorite, star fruit, otherwise known as carambola. We add to this dish watercress, just fresh watercress leaves. This is hydroponic watercress. It's really got a little peppery bite to it. It's absolutely delicious. Obviously, we need to salt our salad, a little salt and pepper. And then we dress this with a touch of lime juice. There's so much in the dish that a simple lime dressing is really all this needs. We just toss it all together and we're pretty much ready to plate what is an extraordinarily delicious dish. So the first thing we're gonna bring to the party is the boniato. We're going to start by putting a little bit of our butter sauce down. Maybe float a little bit in the potato. We're going to pick up our fish ever so gently. Place it right on the potato. And now we're going to come through 
with the salad. What we're trying to do is create layers of flavor and texture. So as you eat the dish, you're going to continually be surprised by the explosion of flavor and the bite of this lime dressed fruit. And obviously, we're also trying to make it look a little pretty. Little micro cilantro. Roasted pistachio. I also add a little mint to finish the dish. Brown butter boniato, the passion fruit beurre blanc with this tropical fruit salad with hearts of palm, watercress, and fresh mint and pistachios with this beautiful yellowtail snapper, a fish unique to Florida that's done a la Francaise style, which gives you texture and flavor like you cannot believe. Make this at home, you won't regret it. For more information about energy efficient natural gas and available appliance rebates, visit peoplesgas.com rebates.